Admiral Meyer stood before a gathering of commanders and diplomats commanding attention. His words echoed, each story demonstrating how strong individuals can be when faced with challenges. Among them, the Battle of Babo I stood out as an example to the strength of humankind in combat. Babo I, a distant outpost on the fringes of known space, succumbed to piracy. In response, human forces unleashed an onslaught, bombarding the pirate stronghold. Critics questioned the severity of human methods, but such concerns fell on deaf ears. Humanity's ambassadors dismissed accusations, citing the necessity of orbital fire support. A glimpse at a human news website revealed the stark reality of warfare. Images of destruction flashed across the screen, depicting the aftermath of conflicts where annihilation was routine. The reckless bunch, notorious pirates, found themselves subdued by human forces, their threats extinguished like embers in the wind. One notable sight was a lone human soldier in the middle of the rubble of New Canberra, as a symbol of heroism in destroyed city. As Admiral Meyer's narrative unfolded, the Galactic Council stirred, their unease palpable. Allegations of war crimes hung heavy in the air, accusations leveled against humanity's pursuit of victory at any cost. Yet, in the face of scrutiny, human officers mounted a defense, highlighting the dire circumstances that necessitated tough decisions for survival and security. The choice, they argued, lay between sacrificing a city or risking the fate of an entire planet. Admiral Meyer's revelation sent shockwaves through the assembly, a realization crashing against the shores of ignorance. Humanity's influence extended far beyond a single star system, spanning hundreds of worlds with military might unseen in history. The Galactic Council recoiled, their complacency shattered by humanity's reach. Accusations of aggression and expansionism hung heavy, whispers of condemnation echoing through the halls. Despite allegations, humanity stayed steadfast. Their goal was one of preservation, a crusade to keep the universe safe from growing danger. Then came the unveiling of the quantum bomb, a weapon of unparalleled destruction forged in human ingenuity. Its power was unfathomable, a harbinger of annihilation capable of reshaping reality. The assembly trembled at the sight of such power, their will tested by the specter of oblivion. For humanity, the quantum bomb was not a tool of conquest, but a last resort, a final defense against encroaching danger. Admiral Meyer's comments sat heavy, a serious reminder. Opposing humanity was an invitation for disaster inciting the wrath of a race with boundless determination. As echoes faded, a realization settled upon the assembly. Humanity's military might was not a show of force, but a testament to their commitment to life and self-preservation. As the council deliberated, unease pervaded the chamber. The cosmos had been altered by humanity's presence. In the end, there could be no denying the truth that Admiral Meyer had laid bare. And so, as the assembly dispersed, one truth remained etched upon the universe, to oppose humanity courted disaster, for their resolve knew no bounds, and their firepower could reshape reality. In the vast cosmos, human methods stood out for their magnitude. From the Battle of Babo I to the unveiling of the quantum bomb, humanity's journey had been one of triumph and tribulation, a proof to the spirit within those who called Earth home. As stars faded into the void and echoes lingered, one thing became clear. In the cosmos, humanity's power was not simply the beginning of a story, it was the dawn of a new era, a chapter in history remembered for eons.